we'd just like to thank everyone for being here with us today. On behalf of the Somersville Area Chamber of Commerce, we would like to congratulate Sozo with the opening of the Hope House. So thank you guys for letting us be a part of this, and thank you guys for being a member of the Chamber. Congratulations. Just a few words. <laughs> hey, um, in, in all reality, today is a happy day for Nicholas County and the city of Somersville. And what I'd like to first say is the city's been a partner and a friend of Sozo from the inception. And and of course, that's because we as a city recognize how important intervention, treatment, uh, prevention, recovery. I mean, we realize that that's all of our issue, uh, not just one section or sector of people. And so we've always been at the table and we will continue to be at the table. And I cannot say enough about Andrea and Sozo and what they bring to the table um, to help beautify our community. And I mean that. And, and, you know, tireless, tireless hours, meetings all over, everywhere. So um, the city's a partner. I'm glad to be here today. This is exciting. Uh, this is a needed piece in Nicholas County. Years ago, I took a trip and went to Huntington. And incidentally, it was a, a, a guy's house that I went to, something similar to this. Shockingly, when I got there, most of the guys that were in the house, for the most part, were from our area, Nicholas County. And I said, you know, why do we ship, you know, our people somewhere else? Why aren't we taking care of them at home? And so um, uh, it was an incredible experience that I had and really what caused me to dive in and make a concerted effort on behalf of the city to be a player and a partner in this effort. So I'm happy to have with me the city recorder, Gary Withy. And on behalf of the city and the citizens we represent, we want to present a little check here. Um, uh, we've been a previous supporter um, financially we are today, and I can assure you that I hope we will be in the future. But here's a here's a small check for your efforts. Well, I don't know if it's small or big. You'll have to open them. You can open it later. But anyway, um, on behalf of the city, um, uh, Andrea, you and your whole team, I'm sure when it gets your turn here in a minute, you'll introduce us. But um, this is about all of us and helping those in our community in need. So. Um, Again, thank you for what you do, and today's a special day. And again, thanks to the Chamber for hosting this. Well, on behalf of the County Commission, the other commissioners apologize they could not be here today. Uh, but uh, we all know the struggles that multiple communities in Nicholas County have suffered uh, for some time now. And for that same amount of time, Sozo has been reaching out in multiple communities, not just Somersville. Uh, but throughout different areas in Nicholas County. We're very grateful for that. Uh, we're excited to see your growth and just glad to be a part of uh, your celebration here today and thank you for what you yeah. do. Thank, thank you. you. Andrea, you want to tell us a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll try to talk loud because I know we have the traffic out here, but um, you know, this has been uh, an incredible journey and I'm, I'm going to try really hard not to get emotional uh, talking about this but today you know Facebook has a lot of uh, negative things on it but there was a positive thing today and the thing that I saw was that 11 years ago today I took the step of faith and left the program that I went and was a part of and came back home to do the same thing I was a part of in Tennessee and bring it here and it took us 11 years to get to the day that we're at where we're actually opening up what um, the vision was initially and uh, it's just overwhelming it's amazing and we really could not do half of what we do without the support of the community the city the county the pastors I mean there are so many people in this community that made this possible and, and I, I'm not even going to try to name them because I know I'll forget people and I don't want to insult anyone but um, over the last 11 years we've been able to uh, do some community assessments here in Nicholas County and identify what the need was and 
you know, we've seen there were a lot of great treatment programs, but there wasn't anything to help people sustain their recovery. So um, we sought out to establish recovery support meetings, to establish recovery in this community, because it wasn't something that was here. And three years ago, we started that. We, we established five meetings in the county almost every day of the week. We had a meeting. and. It, it created a movement of recovery here. People could catch on to that vision and and see that that's what they wanted for themselves. Now, not everybody's path is the same, and and ours is a faith program, but it, it really deposited a lot of things in people's hearts. And um, to to where we are today, we have our drop-in center. We have four meetings there a week now, and. Um, we partner with NA, the Uphill Journey. They have meetings there as well. And um, it's just, it's been amazing. And, and I'm, it's a privilege, it's an honor to be here today to serve. To serve this amazing community. I love this town. I, it has so much to offer. And it breaks my heart to see the people here struggling in the way that they have been. And we all have a part to play. And this is what I want to challenge each and every person that's here today and whoever's watching. What is your part? Figure it out. Know what it is that you have. the children of addicts there's there's many avenues that you can you can play a role in to help change this our our future generation needs us and and it's time that we step up and, and do what our kids need us to do for for the future of the city um i would like to introduce my staff because none of this would be possible without them this is Dawn Persinger. She is um, one of our HR officers and administrative staff. This is Michaela Evans. She's a peer recovery support staff professional. This is Blair Kelly. She's one of our behavioral technicians here. This is Lisa Hamrick. She is our house monitor. She actually lives here with the girls. This is Christy Bennett. She's also a peer recovery support staff. Um, most of us have been in addiction not everyone but we still love her <laughs> but we all have a role to play here and, and there's so much that we can learn from dawn and there's so much that she learns from us and um i just want to thank you all thank you to the city of Summersville for coming and, and the chamber for taking this taking the time out of your day to make this day special for us so thank you all